Hello isopod fans, this is Wally Kern with Supreme Isopods. Today I have a lot of feeding to do, but that's not going to be the focus of this video. It's going to be on consistency, and we'll talk about what that means in just a moment. And don't forget, we have the 2019 Fan Participation Gift Giveaway going on right now. We're going to give the gift away December 23rd in a live session. So make sure that you enter. We'll say the secret word somewhere in this video. Listen up for that secret word, enter it in the comments below, and you'll be all set for this video. If you haven't entered in the previous videos, go back to our last four or five videos. You can enter one time in each one of those as well for more chance to win at the giveaway. The Isopod Vlog Welcome back. I did a recent video where my wife and I exchanged comments going back and forth. And somebody said that they really enjoyed that. It was more like a conversation than a lecture. Unfortunately, today is going to be more like a lecture than the conversation that my wife and I had. This video is going to be talking about consistency, keeping everything the same. I'm going to go ahead and start feeding and I'm going to talk through what consistency actually means. Just to set up the feeding here, I have my uh, Supreme Ice Pod Chow, some vegetables, We've got these uh, pumpkins that we just cut up. Uh, thank goodness for Halloween and pumpkins. I have some wild cod Baltic spray, some dried fish, and I have my calcium, my uh, eggshells calcium. Let's go ahead and start feeding. Before I start, let me ask this question. How many of you have, let's say between one and two cultures? That looks like a pretty good number. How many people, raise your hands, how many people have between, let's say three and six cultures? still a pretty good number. I know the isopod hobby is so hot right now. How many people have between 7 and 15 cultures? That's a lot of people. A lot of people are keeping a lot of isopods. Okay, how many people have more than 15 cultures? I'm in that group as well. So what's my point? My point is that the more cultures you keep, the better it is to be consistent. If you have 1 to 2 to 3 to 4, it's not so important as if you have 20 to 30. So I know some of you out there have 50 cultures. When I talk about consistency, what I'm talking about is keeping everything the same. What that means is having containers that are all the same so that you can go in there and manage the, the isopods better. It also means if you look at the front of these containers, you'll see that they're all marked with the names of the isopods. Now, I'm not the best for consistency, but I'll get there because I need to redo all of these. I've got the names of the isopods on the front of the container so I can easily pull them out and work with them and know exactly what these isopods are. All of these containers are exactly the same size, so it's easier to work with, it's easier to stack. Whoops, forgot the fish. I've got this new food that I'm going to feed these isopods. It's a dried fish, and it seems like they're taking them pretty well. For most of these containers that I'm working with here, the isopods are generally the same, have the same requirements as far as ventilation. So I uh, try to keep the tubs very similar in, in ventilation as well. For this tub, I have the two ventilation holes on top, and I don't have any on the sides because this is a lot of ventilation for these. Let me go ahead and feed this one. I like how these all stack up very nicely. I can put a row of between three and four on top of each other. Looks like this one's all set with moisture. Let's grab the next one. It just makes working with these that much easier. For these smaller cultures, I'm cutting these fish in half and only feeding half of the fish. So again, it's real easy to manage these, pull them down, feed them, put them right back on the shelf.
and right back up they go. Now I'll stagger these containers a little bit so that the uh, ventilation on the top has more efficiency. Inside the container is another area of consistency. For each one of these, I have sphagnum moss on one side, I have dried leaves on the other side of the container, I have cork bark, I have decaying wood, and I keep the uh, calcium on the same side. Sometimes for bigger containers, I'll put them on either side, but it's all the same within these containers. It's easy to work with. I can easily look at the, the uh, sphagnum moss to see if it needs some moisture. I can easily look at the side of the container to see if it needs um, calcium. I put the vegetables in the same area so I know for sure if they're eating the vegetables or not. It's all consistent. Let's throw in a piece of fish. And we're done with this container. One of the questions you're asking right now is, what do I do if these isopods have different requirements? Well, that's easy. You set them up specific to their requirements, but you try to keep everything as the same as you possibly can. There was a post recently on Facebook concerning wood. Somebody asked if cork bark was considered decaying wood. I said that I didn't think it was. We've got some isopods crawling up the sides here. I said that I didn't think cork bark was considered decaying wood. And somebody else answered that not all isopods need decaying wood. And that's a great comment and it helps us all understand the requirements of these isopods. But for my purposes and my thoughts, what I like to do is if it doesn't impact the requirements of the animals, if it doesn't have a negative impact on the animals, I just do it, go ahead and do it. As an example of this decaying wood, even though some isopods don't require decaying wood, I still put it in just so that I know from uh, enclosure to enclosure to enclosure, it's all basically the same. Now, if I were to do that and it would negatively impact, we got to see where I'm, I left off here. If it would negatively impact the isopods, then obviously I wouldn't do that. And if it has some potential benefit to those isopods, then it really can't hurt, can it? Let me give you today's secret word to the 2019 fan participation gift giveaway. If you use that secret word in a comment in the comments below, you'll be entered for this video into that giveaway. So today's secret word, since I'm talking about consistency, let's go with that. C O N consist. Cons so the secret word today is same. Type S A M E in the comments below. The secret word is same. I'm going to go ahead and feed the rest of these isopods. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you haven't sub uh, subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe. Hit the notification all. Make sure that you enter for the 2019 Fan Participation Gift Giveaway down below. Remember that secret word, and we'll see you next video.